Phoenix police say a dangerous man is on the run tonight, accused of shooting two sisters back in August, killing one, leaving another injured. And now a warrant is issued for his arrest. Fox 10's Lauren Clark has been looking into this case. She spoke to the family and joins us live from Phoenix PD tonight. Good afternoon there, uh, John and Christina. I mean, this just absolutely breaks your heart for this family. Two sisters victimized by the shooting, one dying, one injured as a result. The family describes them both as vivacious, fun girls who just absolutely lit up a room the moment that they walked in, and they are torn up because this happened. Family um, functions, you would listen and wait for their voices to enter because you knew there was going to be fun. Francine Jones says her family is forever shattered after two of her sisters were victims of a double shooting near 24th Street in Van Buren during an August evening. Her 37 year old sister Latoya Davis died from her injuries. There's nothing no one can do to ever bring Toya back. Nothing. Her other sister, Alicia Crosby, was wounded but survived. But five months later, she still isn't the same physically or emotionally having to rebuild her body and everything after the vicious gunshots and everything to her. Today, police are saying this man, 44-year-old Terrell Lightfoot, is responsible. Records show he has a criminal history, convicted on previous charges, including theft, aggravated assault, and more. Investigators believe he fled for Lincoln, Nebraska the day after the shooting. A warrant is now out for his arrest. What led up to the shooting or if the victims knew Lightfoot remains unknown. This situation has taken our family to another level of hurt and pain that we did not expect to feel at all. Now she's begging anyone with any information to have compassion on her suffering family. And it needs to be confronted. It needs to be consequented. He needs to suffer. He needs to feel what he has done. And I can't wait for the day that that judgment comes across on him. And again, this family needs your help and police need your help too. If you have any information, please be sure to call police or silent witness. You can do so at 480-WITNESS. Reporting live here at Phoenix Police, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.